Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well today. For today's video, we're going to be doing a very quick and easy Zoom makeup tutorial because a lot of us are still working from home. So we might have times where we're still kind of pushed for time and kind of rushing to get ready for a Zoom or a virtual meeting. So I'm going to show y'all how I normally do my makeup when I'm trying to like just jump on a Zoom call really quickly. This isn't like a full face, a full glam look. It's just something to help me look a little bit more put together so I can look nice and awake and professional on my virtual calls for work. So let's jump right into it. So I normally do my foundation and concealer first, but for today I'm going to be starting off with my brows. So I'm just going to take my spoolie and I'm just going to start by brushing through them. And I'm going to fill them in with my brow powder. This is the ABH Brow Powder Duo in the shade Granite. So I'm just going to quickly fill these in. And I'm not going to be like as precise as I normally would for like a full face of makeup. I'm just filling them in just so that they look a little more groomed than they normally would. So they're all filled in. I'm just brushing through them really quickly. And next I'm going in with some concealer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Mocha. I'm going to concentrate most of this product on my under eye area just to help get rid of any darkness I have in this area. I'm also going to put some on my forehead, my chin, sides of my mouth, and then I'm just going to take the rest of it and I'm just going to dot it over some of the old acne scars that I have on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my concealer brush. This is actually a foundation brush, but for me it's a concealer brush. So if you're really pushed for time, you can blend out your concealer with a sponge because that is faster. I like to blend out with a concealer just because it adds to the coverage. It's just not gonna shear the product out as much as your sponge would. And then I'm also going to blend out everywhere else where I have concealer. And I am dragging the concealer that I put on my forehead, just dragging that down to the top of my nose just a little bit. And then when I'm blending out the concealer on my cheeks, I didn't put enough concealer there to completely cover everything up. I'm just trying to kind of even out my skin tone a little bit more. And of course, if you don't have acne scarring like I do, then you could just completely skip this step altogether if you want to. So you can still see a lot of stuff on my cheeks, but for me, that's fine because I'm not trying to be like super precise and do like a flawless look today anyway. So next I'm going in with some setting powder. This is the Cody Airspun powder and I'm going to be using the shade Honey Beige. It's a nice pink shade powder and I use this as a highlighting powder. So I'm going to be concentrating this kind of like in the center of my face. So I'm picking some up on my damp sponge. And first I'm gonna set my under eye area. And then I'm also gonna set my forehead and my chin and kind of just concentrate this all in the center of my face. For the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Too Faced Powder Foundation. This one is in the shade Maple. And I'm gonna take a nice big fluffy brush. I'm using a big brush just because it's gonna cover more area at one time. So I'm just gonna coat my brush with the powder and I'm gonna concentrate this on the outer parts of my face. And also just a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my nose. And then I'll usually just close my eyes and just bat this over my eyes too, just to get rid of some of that oiliness on my lids. And next I'm going to put on a little bit of blush because I think blush just like brightens up the face a little bit. So this is the Note Cosmetics brush. This one is in the shade, did I say brush? The Note Cosmetics blush. This one is in the shade Desert Rose. And I feel like even if you don't want to wear makeup at all, like no complexion product, if you just put a little bit of blush on, it'll just kind of like light up your whole face. So I'm going to put just a little bit of this on my cheeks. 
and I'm not going to be going in with bronzer today but adding blush to the cheeks that does help add a little dimension to your cheek area anyway so it's not going to add quite as much dimension as a bronzer but you know it does add some dimension to this area and then I'm going to take a little bit of highlighter. I'm using the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. I'm using this for today just because it just happened to be like right within my reach. But you can take any highlighter or any shimmery shade from an eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to put some of this in the inner corner, like the tear duct area of my eye. Just to add a little bit of brightness to that area and then I'm gonna go ahead and set everything just because I did put a good amount of powder on my face I'm using the Rimmel stay matte fix and go setting powder setting spray and if you're doing just like a quick zoom meeting like maybe you know 30 minutes or so you really don't even need to set your face so I don't bother with eyeliner for a Zoom meeting because I feel like you really can't tell if I have eyeliner on or not. So I'm going to go in with my um, Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I'm going to put this on off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put one coat of the mascara on my top lashes and just a very little bit on the lower lashes. And now I'm going to finish everything up with some lips. So I would say if you're pushed for time and you're trying to get ready for a virtual meeting just choose a lipstick that you don't have to pair with a lip liner or like a lip topper or something like that just use a product where it's like a standalone product for you it's just something that you could just easily wipe on your lips and then you're done so for me I'm going to be using the makeup revolution sheer brilliant lip gloss and this one is in the shade gone rouge and I really like this lip gloss just to give my lips like a nice subtle flush of color and it's easy to apply So this is what I would typically do to get ready for a Zoom meeting, but if you want to look a little bit more flawless than this, but you're still kind of pushed for time, the easiest way to do that is to just take your powder foundation and just add a little bit more to it because it will give you some more coverage. Or if you're going to be like me and you're going to be putting some concealer on underneath the foundation, you can also put on some more concealer because that will obviously cover up some more too. But this is pretty much what I do. I think I look nice and put together. I think I look a little bit more done up than not having on any makeup at all but I didn't spend a whole lot of time doing this makeup I don't think I said this in the beginning but the longest part of this tutorial for me would definitely be the brows and I'm not even as precise as I normally am when I'm doing like a full face of makeup so with the brows included depending on how you know full or thin your brows are this routine should take you only like five or ten minutes to do so I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video today don't forget to subscribe before you head out and I hope to see y'all back here for my next one. Until then, take care. Have a good one y'all. Bye.